everyone, it's Sarah here and welcome to my channel DIY Busy Books. In case you're new here, I show how to make and assemble different activity pages for children's busy books made from felt and different fun crafting materials. In this video, I'm going to show you how I put together a fireman and fire truck activity page. Here's what it looks like and it's got a bunch of fun different little parts to it. Let me show you. One of them is that the fire truck lift snaps off. You can't really hear it, but there's little magnetic snaps there. So little kids can connect those three pieces together and then that builds the fire truck itself. It comes with a ladder that attaches with Velcro to the front. Obviously it comes with the fireman himself. And then if you pull out inside the fire truck, there is a little set of water that comes out for the fireman to hold. And then I keep it attached with a string so that it doesn't get lost. And then inside the windows, I have two uh, big things of fire so little kids can play with that and the fire detaches and comes off for after the fireman sprays it down with the with the hose and it's also built so that the fireman fits inside the lift like that's a little pocket there and so he the, that lift can move and rotate so that he can reach all of those fires in the windows now I already posted a fireman activity template um, a couple of years ago along with a video to show you how to assemble it. However, I'm, I've simplified the activity because initially when I posted the template, like for the fireman, when I did that a couple of years ago, that was more so just for purely DIYing at home. It, that particular template is not something that I use for selling at craft shows. So if you are doing this yourself and just making a busy book for your child and you wanna do the fireman activity page, check out the other video, I'll link it below and I have a free template for the other one. It has a whole second page of like a forest, it has a little cat, it has a second part of the lift that snaps together. There's just a lot more little pieces and it is maybe more fun, I guess, um, but it's it was kind of posted originally for the moms out there who are wanting to make it for their own child. I don't make that old one. I don't make it at all because I don't sell it. To me, it has, it's not that I don't think it's worth it or that I would get the um, my money back for the time that I put into the old version. It's just that there's too many pieces and it's too kind of much to keep track of for a very chaotic person like me, despite my best efforts. And so for actually selling the activity pages, I simplify them, I make them more, uh, more efficient and quicker to put together so that they can be profitable, but they're still really cute and very fun and very popular. So this specific template with the slight changes that I've made and the simplification of it, oh, also the fireman is changed. In the other one, the fireman is a finger puppet. This, he's not a finger puppet. He's just like a full felt person. And so the specific template for this exact page is the one that I share on my Patreon. My Patreon is primarily targeted to those of you who are also wanting to make and sell busy books as a side business or even potentially as a full-time job. That's what I'm working towards personally. And so on there, I share the exact templates that I use for assembling these, these pages in bulk, meaning cutting and making multiple copies of this page at a time. So let me show you what that looks like on my Patreon in case you are on my Patreon or if you are interested in joining that. Let me show you what you get. Um, I have the files posted in both SVG and JPEG so that you can upload them to your cutting machine. Otherwise, if you're just wanting to make a single copy of this and like you're doing it by hand and you're making it as a gift, check out my website and print off the free version and, and check out the other video that I did for that template on my website. Let me show you what you get on my Patreon and then we'll get into how to assemble this activity page. And before I go, I just wanna say a quick thank you so much, you guys, for all your kindness, your support, your wonderful comments. It's been a real joy for me to find my fellow craft people on YouTube and thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So here's the post on my Patreon. I always show a bunch of photos just so that you can see in detail what the activity page is supposed to look like. And then as you scroll through the photos, you just click the right and the left hand arrows. You'll see this. This is just a color reference page. This is not the actual template itself. It's just a page for you to reference to show you what colors to cut the pieces in. And then if you keep scrolling through, you'll see the templates as JPEG files, all in black and white. I share them in black and white because when you upload them and save them, it'll just be a more clear, crisp cut than if I were to just post them in white or whatever other color. But that's what the, um, the color reference page is for. And then I also put in the caption I don't know if you can see it in the video, but in the captions right below each photo, it'll tell you what color to cut that template in. It'll tell you how many 
you need to cut. Like for example, this says this cuts enough for a set of three activity pages. So this will give you enough of the pieces for three to make three copies of this activity page. Um, and then it also tells you the size, both in centimeters and in inches too, of what you need to adjust that page to when you upload it into your cutting machine to make sure that everything is sized properly. Everything is meant to be exactly how I make it. So up front to fit an eight inch by eight inch or 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter sheet of felt. And then I'm not quite done putting the description in here, but here is also the SVG files. If you wanna just upload it to your cutting machine as an SVG, um, I think that makes it a bit easier to move pieces or to delete pieces. If you're not wanting to make it in bulk and you just wanna make a single copy, that's fine too. Uh, but the way I've built the Patreon is mainly for those of you who are like me and you're wanting to cut multiple sets at once. And so when you save those to your computer, this is what you'll have. You'll have these uh, six templates. And so as you can see, when I do it personally, I make six copies at a time. So you'll see in the caption, this um, blue one cuts enough for three of the windows. So I would cut two of those in blue and that would give me enough for six. This yellow one cuts enough for six of the ladders and the little yellow fire pieces. So you just need to do that cut once on a 12 inch by 12 inch cutting mat in yellow and that will give you enough for six of each of those pieces. This red one cuts enough for two, so you're gonna do three of these to give enough for six. This one here cuts enough for three, so this is just the back side of the fireman. I just put him as black so that his whole back is black. So you're just gonna do um, two of these in black and that will give you enough for six. This peach uh, for the face and the hands of the fireman, I cut this in peach and this actually gives you enough for 36. So whether you want to cut all 36 and just save them, if you really love this template and you wanna sell a whole bunch and over time make 36, I have cut all of these out and I just save them in, in a little baggie so that once I sell my first set of six, when I go ahead and make another set of six, I'm not cutting these out over and over again. But if you want to, you can also just delete a bunch of these copies and only cut a set of six if you want to. Um, and then this is the only one, this white one actually cuts enough for four. So that's the only one that has, You'll if you cut out two of these, you'll have two left over if you're only making six. Uh, but for me, what I do is I just save them, I keep them in a little baggie, and then when I go ahead and make more sets, um, I, I don't have to do as many cuts. And if you're looking for the free template, you can just go to my website. This is what it looks like. And you're just gonna go click on more and click on the fourth uh, free template, free print templates for. I have like, I don't know how, how many do I have? I have like five pages of printable templates and each one I think has 15 different um, types of templates on it. So you're just gonna scroll down on page number four to where it says fire truck template and it'll open up the PDF for you. It's just printable. And you can see once it loads there, everything is to size, to size. So you just print it and then cut out those pieces. You can see there's a lot more little pieces and you can see the pieces here for the trees as well um, for the second part of the page. So that's available to you as well if you just wanna do a single one. Now, let me show you how to put this page together. As always, I am starting with my eight inch by eight inch sheet of Stiff Korean 1.2 millimeter felt. And I'm gonna start with just digging a little hole right at the bottom of this page with my scissors. And that little hole is what will allow some, I have brown suede cord. You can use any color of suede cord. Um, it will allow the suede cord or the string or whatever you're using I'm going to allow that to go through. I'm not going to pull it down all the way, just going to get it through because I'm going to sew down the fire truck. No, I'm going to leave the top open though, and I don't want to sew over the string at all. So I'm just going to sew around the sides, the bottom, and the other side as well. Next, I'm going to go ahead and hot glue on these um, red circles. You can use any color circles. I always have these four centi centimeter in diameter circles that I use on all sorts of activities. So I'm just going to use them just to hot glue on the bottom here so that this string doesn't get pulled out. Um, you'll see how it works at the end. But this is not included in the template. I'm sorry, I didn't have any space on the um, on the red template, but you can add four centimeter circles on any of the other pages where they will fit, or you can just freehand cut out a circle or a triangle or a square, anything just to help make sure that the string doesn't get pulled out um, through the hole. 
Next, I'm going to take these magnetic clips. I really like these. They're really easy to use and install. I'll leave the link for them down below in my in the description of this video. Basically, they have two little clasps, so you just cut two little um, slots in your fabric. I always just estimate it. I'm not too super specific on it, but I want to have one of them right at the end of my um, or at the corner of the fire truck. So I cut two little slots in there for the two tabs to fit through. And then it comes with these flat pieces to go on the other side. Sorry, it's hard to show you this one. I'll show you another one that's more clear. So that just fits over and then the tabs fold, fold inward and it just keeps that clasp in place. There we go. Sometimes I have to push it down just to get enough force to get those to fold, but that's what it'll look like on the inside. And so that is what I will use to attach um, the, I guess, fire truck lift and allow it to rotate. So I'm going to put um, the correct side of the clasp in these holes and then another one on the black platform or the black lift for the fireman to go in. I'll show you. So I'm going to start with just folding this end circle in half and I'm going to cut two slots in it and then do the same thing where I put the two tabs inside those slots and that's what it looks like on the other side and then I'm just going to put that plate over it and fold those inward and then I'm going to put the exact same one on the other end as well And again, if you're having a hard time folding the two little tabs down, they are like a, a metal, so they might be kind of hard to fold down. I just push them down and use the force of gravity to help me get them flat. And then once those are both on, I'm going to apply a whole bunch of hot glue. And the reason I'm using hot glue is, number one, it's really hard to sew with those little tabs there so close to the edge. There's not really any room for stitches to go around. But also, um, the hot glue helps add a lot of stiffness and structure to this piece so it won't be kind of so soft and bendy when the child is playing with it. So I'm going to put a ton of hot glue on there and then just hot glue the other piece over top. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the black rectangle here. I'm going to fold that in half. I'm going to cut two slots in there, just enough to fit um, another one of these metal clasps. And just make sure you're choosing the correct side, like whether you put the male part or the female part. It doesn't matter where you put them as long as they will, you know, clasp together and fit together, um, which mine will. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one there and then put the, again, put the plate on the back fold the tabs down and in the template you'll see two larger black circles and one smaller black circle you're going to use that smaller black circle and just hot glue it over top of the where the metal tabs were folded just so that that part is kind of concealed and covered up and so that you know they don't ever open up or if a child sticks their hand into this pocket they won't feel this you know potentially scratchy um, metal tabs there they'll just feel the, the felt I don't have anything hot glued on the inside of this piece though. Um, so if you wanted to just freehand cut something, you can. I'm just going to leave mine alone. I'm not worried about that. Once that black circle has dried, I'm going to go ahead and sew around the border just at two sides and the bottom, leaving the top part open. Now with all of those pieces dry, you can see how they fit together so little kids can take this lift they can clip that on and then the other end will clip onto the little box there and the firefighter will be able to fit in there and it's nice because every piece can rotate so they can be moved in different ways as well next i'll do the windows so i'm just going to sew these two down onto the page And I'm going to sew down these two white windows just at the sides here so that the windows can open and close. Then we're going to hot glue down all of the dark blue window outlines here.
Next, let's work on building the fires. So in the template, you have these two cutouts for these red fires. And then you have two little yellow cutouts. I'm going to freehand cut out some yellow or sorry, some orange flames. I didn't bother creating a template for the orange flames just because this is such an easy shape to cut out. And I always have like spare unused felt that could be used up. So sometimes whenever I have an easy shape that needs to be cut out, I don't bother making a template for it, especially when it's only one single orange piece and I don't have anything else that's orange in this whole template. So to, to not waste any space, I would just have to fill it up with a bunch of orange flames. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm just going to cut those out freehand and then hot glue the yellow over top. So there's the two flames to go in behind the two windows. And I'm just going to use my small one millimeter self-adhesive Velcro dots. And I'm going to apply hot glue and just hot glue them onto uh, inside the windows and then onto the backs of the flames so that it looks like the house is on fire. Okay, so those those flames can go inside the windows now attached with Velcro. And then the only other thing that I cut freehand were these little light blue and dark blue water to come out for the hose. And again, I didn't bother making an actual template for them for the same reason I did with the orange felt. Um, I just didn't have a light blue or a dark blue color in this. I did have that middle color, that turquoise color, uh, but I didn't bother adding it. I think it's just easier to just cut it freehand. And then that way I can use up some of these scrap, the scrap blue colors of felt that I have. So I'm just going to hot glue the other end of the suede cord in between the two light blue um, pieces of water and then I'll hot glue on the other blue ones. So now it looks like we have a huge hose of water to spray at the fire and then little kids can pull it down and it can just be tucked inside the, um, the fire truck and then they can pull it back out. So it has kind of this grab and pull uh, motion associated with it and then it's just a a cute little surprise when it's inside there. Next, let's hot glue on the windshield and the windows. And this other white rectangle is just to go in the middle, just hot glue in the middle for all of the control um, buttons that will go on the fireplace or on the fire truck, I mean. Then we're gonna take two copies of the yellow ladder. We're gonna hot glue them together just because um, I, having the 1.2 millimeter stiff Korean felt, even though it is a much nicer quality than what is available on Amazon right now. Um, it's still not quite thick enough, in my opinion, to just leave it at one layer for the ladder. So hot gluing two copies together makes it really stiff and structured and makes it feel like a real, you know, strong ladder. And we're going to get our little one millimeter self-adhesive Velcro dots. I'm going to hot glue one onto the control panel right in the bottom corner there and I'm going to hot glue another one onto one of these ladder steps and then that way I can attach the ladder to the fire truck using that velcro. While that glue dries though I'm going to bring out some of my um, fabric markers and I'm just going to use them or sorry they're actually um they're paint paint markers this one's h-u-a-l I don't even know how to pronounce that no sponsor just bought these little paint markers and i love them so i'm going to use those to color on some little control buttons to go onto the side here and then i'm going to hot glue on these two black wheels hot glue on the two white circles over top of that Finally, let's create the fireman. I actually have two copies, two red copies that I'm going to be hot gluing together. However, in the template, you're going to have a red copy and then you're just going to have a black copy for the back side. Um, I just switched up the template a bit after I cut this the first time. Go ahead and hot glue one of your red and black copies of the fireman together. You can also sew it together if you want to, but I prefer to hot glue it. I, th I think it's quicker. And it also, as always, adds that stiffness and structure to the pieces once that hot glue dries. And then I'm going to hot glue on the face as well. But before I do, I'm just going to put a little smile and some eyes on the face. Okay, and then we'll apply a little bit of hot glue just on the bottom part of the fire hat and hot glue that 
right above the eyebrows. And then I have these two little hands that I'm going to hot glue on to the part of the hands, of course. A little black strip as the belt. And then I'm going to hot glue these two tiny black pieces on the bottom for his shoes. And then I'm going to take one of my yellow paint markers and I'm just going to draw some yellow stripes on the shoulders and on the legs to complete the fireman look. Now I can attach my ladder to the page and my fireman is able to hold the hose and guide the, the water to where it needs to go. And then we can build up this whole um, lift and there's enough room for the fireman to go inside the lift so we can take the hose. He can take the hose and be lifted as high as he needs to go. The windows open and he can spray away the fire. And then of course he can use his ladder if he needs to as well, if that is easier for putting out the fire. And then for the back side of my page, we're going to grab another eight inch by eight inch sheet of felt. And this one can just be the lower quality felt that I use from Amazon, or you can use uh, whatever felt you like. It doesn't matter the quality though, because I like to wrap it in fabric if I have fabric. If you don't have any fabric, that's okay. I don't always use fabric. Sometimes I will just put a plain piece of felt for the back side. Um, that is just how I make busy books. If you're, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, uh, most busy books are double sided, like they have an activity on both sides of the page. That's not how I make mine because I sell them in a build a book format. So parents choose whichever book they, page they like, and then I assemble it into the form of a book. So that's why I don't have them double sided. I just have the activity on a single side. And then that is what the back side of the page will look like. Of course, I have the perfect fabric to go with this activity page. It's got like firefighter, little emergency vehicles and and uh, jobs written on the back. It's like a, a first responder themed fabric. Of course I have this because I always have the perfect fabrics to go with every page. That is not a healthy thing. That is only because I have a fabric addiction. So I'm not endorsing that or trying to encourage you to do that. If you do not have the perfect fabric, that is okay. And that is because you are a normal person. Uh, I am not addicted to drugs, to alcohol, to buying shoes, to buying clothes. I don't, I don't, I don't go shopping at all unless it's to buy fabric. Just put me in a fabric store and I will spend hours in there touching everything, looking at every little thing. Yeah. So anyways, um, this will fund my addiction. So thank you to all my customers for funding my fabric addiction. Anyways, that's what the back will look like. And then I just have my binding piece. It's just a two or th you can use three millimeter thick felt. It's just a thicker type of felt because I'm going to punch some holes into there. And that's how I will connect the pages using binder rings. So I'm going to just stick that in between the front and back side. And I'm going to sew around the whole border. Oh, but don't sew over top of this suede cord where the hose is because we want that to be able to pull in and out. So I'm going to start my sewing here, go all around the page and end the sewing right here so that I have space to pull that in and out. And then finally for everyone's favorite part, I'm just going to use my heavy duty hole punch to put two holes in the binding piece so that we can build the book. That's what the back side looks like and that's what the front side looks like. And yeah, it is super cute, I must say. All right, that's it for today, you guys. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoy making this activity page. I'll outline the time and the pricing and the cost and the materials all on my Patreon. But thank you guys so much for watching and for all of your support. And I will see you in the next video.